Today I'm working on a new painting which I just started and I love this stage of the painting because it's a stage where you feel like a kid, about a two-year-old. Everything is new and fresh and man, you are having fun. The second stages aren't as much fun because it's more like um, an adolescent and because I was a therapist for so many years, I think in terms of what I saw in the consulting room and what I read about and now what I experience is that frantic stage of being a, a kid, a teenager, where nothing is right. So you have to struggle through that stage and that's a really tough one. So finally you get into maturity and things begin to settle down and the paintings evolve into something more finished and more satisfying. It's the last stage that's so satisfying because I'm beginning to get the image that I want, that, that, that I feel is going to allow people, invite people to kind of pause for a few minutes in their lives and take a minute to kind of dwell inside. The way I saw them dwelling inside when I was a therapist and the kind of exciting creativity that came out when they could find an inner space. And I, a lot of people see my paintings that way and man, that gives me so much pleasure because that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, the recent paintings are growing out of a series um, related to Martin Johnson Heed's work. He was of the school of the Hudson River, not exactly connected to them, but a little bit different um, because he did a lot of seascapes and marsh scenes. But the essence of that work and the era in which those men work just fascinates me and influences a lot of what I do. So I've got several things that go on in my studio and in my head throughout the day. When I'm working on a painting, I'm pulling a lot from my insides in order to get the imagery that I want. When I'm at life drawing classes, I'm doing an old discipline of a head thought process, trying to get what I see outside onto the paper. And then in the evening, when the work is done and it's time to go tango dancing, then the whole thing changes and the energy is coming from me, but it's being met and enhanced by the energy from my partner, who is my husband, with whom I dance 99% of the time. And man, that is such a great way to, to switch styles of living.